Hey, you got barbecue and bottles here, and today we're going to be doing surf and turf on the beefer. You're going to want to stick around and see this, folks. We're going to be eating like kings and queens. Roll that intro. So to start for this recipe, we've got some USDA prime strip loins here. So what we're gonna wanna do is hit those with a bit of salt and pepper at the start. Now we've had these out of the fridge for about 45 minutes just to let them warm up to room temperature. And you wanna do that with your steaks just to make sure that you get a more even cook all the way through. So be generous, we've got thick steaks here. Apply a lot of salt. We've got some fresh ground pepper. I'm gonna put that on. Again, go on generous with this stuff. All right, now flip it. Do the exact same thing on the other side. Perfect. Now that we've got those seasoned up, just lightly pack that seasoning in flip the steaks around, get some of that excess salt and pepper on the side of the steaks. Perfect, there we go. Now we're gonna set these steaks aside for at least 10 or 15 minutes just to let the seasoning absorb into the steaks and start to relax the muscles of the meat. So to fire up the beefer, it's really easy. It's got its own self-ignition system. So you just depress this, get the fuel flowing, and then we've got an igniter in the back, and that'll just light up the beefer. All right, while the beefer is warming up, which is only gonna take a couple of minutes, what we're gonna do is make a garlic butter sauce, and we're gonna use that just to brush the steaks, but also it's gonna pair with the lobster, and it's gonna be that clarified butter nice and garlicky with some rosemary chives in there. It's gonna be delicious. So to start with, we're gonna go in with a generous amount of butter. And now what's great with the beefer is you can put that on the top and the heat from the beefer element is gonna slowly melt that butter. We're now gonna chop up the garlic, the chives, add that into the mix. And as we cook away on the steaks and the lobster, this is really gonna melt and marinate and really fuse together. So for the garlic, we're just gonna chop this up really finely. Now we're gonna cut up our chives. All right, now that we've got some of these chives diced up, I'm gonna add that to the butter as well. Now that we've got the garlic and the chives diced up in here with the butter, we're just mixing it around to make sure that it all mixes as it melts, and it's just fusing into an incredible garlic chive butter. So for these lobster tails, how we're gonna prep them is we're gonna take scissors, just take them up the top of the shell here, shell's pretty tough. So be careful as you're doing this. There we go. One down. Perfect. Now with that down, what we're going to want to do is split the shell open a little bit. So just crack it open like this. All right, now you're gonna go in the bottom with your thumb. And you're gonna try and loosen that meat up. You can turn it over a little bit if that's gonna make it easier. Get in here. Perfect, now I've got all the lobster meat out. I'm just gonna place it on top 
just like that. Now we're gonna do the same with the other one. We're just gonna crack the shell back here a little bit. Now we're gonna go in with our thumb down the bottom of the lobster. Separate that meat out from the shell. Perfect, there we go. Now this is gonna make for an incredible appearance once we're done with these. It's gonna be just like those lobsters you see on TV for steakhouses when you get the lobster busting out of the red shell. We're gonna put on um, a little bit of this garlic chive butter that we've got melting away on the top. We'll put on a little bit of paprika for color, but let's get these on the grill right now. So to start with, we're just gonna take a beefer unit like this. One lobster on there, the other lobster on there. So we're gonna put those in for a quick sear here, and then we're gonna move the lobsters down to a lower shelf. And we should already start to see some of the incredible sear, some of the, the shell already turning red, and we're just gonna put that down on a lower shelf and let that finish cooking away right there. And like with any seafood, you don't wanna over grill it. So paying attention to your temperatures here is exceptionally important. So we've got a instant read thermometer that we're gonna periodically check the internal temp of the, the lobster on and just make sure our cook's going smoothly. So as we're grilling away this lobster here, we're gonna to wanna to baste it just like that. So you take some of the melted butter that we've got up top Just apply that, be generous. You want all the butter to seep down into the crevices. The crevices of the lobster. Perfect. I'll pop that back in there. Now we'll bring it back out. Apply a little bit of paprika for color. So now we're gonna get the steaks on. So we'll drop one of our steaks onto our grate here. And we'll slide it in just under the burner. So we'll give that 60 seconds. That'll apply a really good sear to this steak. We'll pull it out, we'll flip it over, give it another 60 seconds. Had this steak in there for 60 seconds. You can already see the crust that's forming there. So we're gonna flip that over. We'll do the exact same thing on the other side. So we've had this in for another 60 seconds. So what we're gonna do now is just let that rest. So while that's resting for about 10 minutes, we're gonna do the other steaks. Drop that in there, 60 seconds. We'll flip it over, 60 seconds on the other side, and you're done. This lobster's coming along great. You can see the color's turned. I'm gonna continue to baste this. Oh, I wish you could smell this. This just smells like being out in the Cape or Nantucket. Fresh, fresh seafood, delicious. We're also gonna rotate this around just to make sure we're getting an even cook. Get the other lobster in there. Perfect. You 
can see the sear, all the fats rendering down, starting to bubble. So we'll flip that over. Again, give this side 60 seconds. So we're gonna check the internal temperature of the lobster here. And we're looking for 140. So that's 135, 134. So we need to leave that in for a little bit while longer. So let's take out our last steak here. Just look at that sizzle. So we'll let that rest as well. Put this back in here. We're gonna add a little bit more butter to uh, our, our pan at the top, just to make sure that we've got enough clarified butter up there for dipping your lobster in. We're also gonna brush these steaks. So you'll see we've got more butter in here now. We've added some rosemary along the way and we're just gonna brush these steaks lightly with a bit of this garlic butter. And then we're gonna put them back into the beaver for a final 10 second sear. And that last 10 seconds really just delivers an incredible crust on the outside of your steaks. So these lobsters should be done. We're just gonna check with the temp probe. We're looking for 140, or 142, 143, so that's perfect. So we're just gonna slide our lobster tails over here. So we're just gonna put this on for 10 seconds, give it a final really good sear. All right, now we'll do the same on the other side. Perfect. Now I'll just move that down to the bottom grate here to keep it warm while we sear the other sirloins. And these have already been resting for about 10 minutes. So again, pop this in here, 10 seconds on that side. All right, flip that. Back in for another 10 seconds. Great, just look at that sear, incredible. Now we'll go in with the last sirloin. Drop that in there. 10 seconds on that side. Perfect. Now we're gonna be ready to slice these guys up. All right, now that we've had these steaks resting, we're gonna cut into them and see if we got that perfect medium rare. You can hear the crunch of the steak as we cut into it. Just an incredible crust that you get on this beefer. Really, really beautiful. Just a perfect medium rare. Now let's get this set up here. Hmm. Taste test, perfectly seasoned just with a simple salt and pepper. Medium rare finish. That finish, that's exactly what I love in steaks. So there you have it folks. This is how you do surf and turf on the beefer really straightforward and simple. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button below. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Now we're gonna dig in.